the gay. Gonna go up here. So here we go through the heads and there's a ship passing us at the same time. So it's amazing to see as it went through and relatively calm. We didn't know whether there'd be a little bit of movement in the ship, but that came shortly, which will happen anyway. So as soon as you get out of the bay, you sort of seem to get past that point. You can see the waves coming already. So. As soon as you start hitting Bass Strait, really, uh, really changes. You start to get a bit of movement in the in the ship. But bearing in mind, we had a relatively calm trip the the whole way. So a bit of movement started now, and as you'll see, we we head off and head across Bass Strait now, which is the longest part. Plenty of time for a snooze and check out the movies or whatever you want to do on board and. Before you know it, you'll uh, be sort of getting close to, to Devonport. Was was our experience. So we're out in the middle of Bass Strait, and 
we were on Spirit of Tasmania 1 and we actually passed Spirit of Tasmania 2 so it gives you an idea of the, the pace that you're hurting along at and then coming into Devonport you see land and quite quickly you, uh, you come up to Devonport we couldn't believe how close we were and to, to the beach and to houses as you head up the, um, the little river part in, uh, in Devonport. It's quite short before we know it, you're coming into the port. There's not, not as much room either side of the, the ship. That's how that's how close you uh, you are on the other side. You don't turn around at all. Just pull into the side. Oh. You see a few a few seals flying around the back there, just as we pulled in. Just test them on the on the video. Amazing how quickly and easily the docking process is. So bear in mind we drove on the front of the, the ship in Melbourne when we disembarked in Devonport. We actually drive out the uh, the back or the, the rear of the, the ship and that's where the uh, that's where the when you come off and drive around over there and you can see that's the actual ramp that you that you drive down. So all in all a great time, highly recommended. If you want to take your car over far cheaper to take your car over than, than hire one around Tasmania, it was our experience. And then you had it.